Um, you want to make sure you uh, change your color to true color, um, and it should show up uh, uh, good. If, if it doesn't, you might have to go back to your surface properties and then make sure that all these colors in the color scheme are their true color and not their index color. I, actually, I believe that this is the correct way to do it. So we'll just go back and make all of these true color, and then when they plot, um, which we'll do in just a second so you can take a look at it, um, it should essentially be all in black and white like it should be and then with the colors on it so that uh, contractors can see where there's a lot of cut and there's a lot of fill. So we'll go ahead and run plot, we'll select window and we'll make a little window of the site and then preview. Yep, and there we go. Now our colors are plotted. Um, looks like this gray color is not quite the correct gray color. You usually want to select the gray color that plots as white so we'll just go ahead and change that really quick. So I'll go back to our service properties and we'll change this gray to, I believe, 252. Hit apply, hit OK. Same thing, plot, preview. I don't think I set it to true color. True color, OK, apply, OK. Still the gray, but one of these grays um, essentially plots as white. So whichever one that is is going to be the gray that you're going to want to select. And then areas where there's no cut or fill will plot as just white, um, like the white background, so they won't they won't show up. Um, I suppose you could just select color 255 as white as well. Would probably work. Let's try that. Yep, sure does. So that totally works. So we've got red showing where we have a lot of cut and blue showing where we have a lot of fill. And then areas in between where there's minor amounts of cut and minor amounts of fill.